warning tonight about an uptick in motor vehicle thefts and car break ins. In many cases, people are targeting cars overnight in downtown Durham parking decks. But this morning, an apartment complex was hit, and police say one of the young vandals fired a gun at a resident who was watching them. WRAL's Monica Casey spoke with people impacted and shows us the damage. Durham police remind residents to lock car doors and remove any valuables. Both of the residents I spoke with did just that, but both are still out hundreds of dollars replacing shattered windows. It's really annoying. Thomas Gorman lives in South Durham. His car was one of a handful broken into at his apartment complex this morning. Around 6 a.m. there was a loud noise, what I assumed was a, a gunshot. Durham police tell me when three juveniles were observed breaking into a car, one fired a gun at a resident watching them. Police took all three minors into custody and recovered a stolen car and a stolen gun. Gorman is now dealing with the damage to his property. I immediately set about cleaning it and got this, you know, parking lot where I was at cleaned and also everything that was in my seat. Um, and then I went to go quickly patch up the window with a uh, wrap. The numbers show the break in issue is at its worst downtown. WREL data trackers looked at Durham crime reports and found there was a 129% increase in larcenies from cars between May and June. June. There were more than 1,200 reported in the city last month and nearly 500 reported this month through the end of last week. Katy Berry is one of those residents downtown whose window was shattered last week. Go get it fixed, having to pay, you know, the, to get it fixed. And obviously, you know, insurance will handle some of that, but there's a deductible involved too. So that crime happened inside her apartment's garage. Downtown, we generally feel pretty safe there, and it was a bit jarring. Um, to realize that somebody was able to get into a garage with a gate and do this kind of damage not only to our car, but our neighbors' cars as well. In Durham, Monica Casey, WREL News. And police say charges against the three suspects in this morning break-ins are pending.